Welcome back Dragon Age fans, today's video is going to be about the Dragon Age Inquisition article in the PC Gamer magazine. The two main talking points of this article are the things that you can do in Skyhold which is the home base of the Inquisition and an area in the Dales known as the Highlands. The article reads, I fast travel back to Skyhold, my castle and the Inquisition's answer to the Normandy and Mass Effect. The most important thing about Skyhold is there are more things to do than in Commander Shepard's ship. Past the taverns, stables, courtyards, kitchens and dungeons, I stepped to the war table. Here, a dozen or so operation markers populate a world map. Scouting missions, a task to gain the friendship of the Dwarven Kingdom of Orzammar, or to recruit an Arcanist. You complete these micro-quests entirely through the menu, and they grant modest benefits, gold, loot, resources, or adding more agents who join the Inquisition. But some, like addressing the Chantry in Val Rayo, are tied to the main plot. I spend some of the power I accumulated in the Highlands to rebuild the bridge. Some operations like this one are instantly resolved, but others ask you to pick which of the three advisors, Josephine, Cullen or Eliana, is a right fit for the job, making them temporarily unavailable. You can visit with all three of these advisors inside Skyhold. Also, Connected into the war table are Inquisition perks, which draw on influence that you have gained from exploring Thedas and completing quests. If power is Inquisition gold, as Mark Dara puts it, influence is Inquisition XP, effectively. There are four perk types, forces, secrets, connections and simply Inquisition, the first three of which are tied into the three advisors and depending on what perks you pick, it somehow changes Skyhold, however we do not know how. The next part of the article talks about the Highlands, which is an area in the Dales. This area is covered in snow. The Highlands is covered in ancient elven ruins, and because of the Red Templars, there are giant red lyrium crystals sticking out of the cliffs. As the article writer makes his way through icy tunnels covered with red lyrium, they fight their way through Red Templars until they come up to the Behemoth. Less a soldier and more of a 50-foot faceless lump of lyrium. After I clear the Red Templars from the first part of the Highlands, a floating context queue invites me to build an Inquisition camp. The screen fades out and in, revealing new tents and defences. A few Inquisition scouts mingle. In the camp, I can replenish my potions, and the camp also becomes a fast travel point. A blocked gate is now clear, and granting access to another part of the Highlands. The feeling of not knowing what's around the next corner is new to the Dragon Age games. As we travel further through the highlands, we reach a stone bridge called Judaseal's Crossing. It is snapped in half, and we do not know how to repair it. That's just a small section of the information in this article. I highly recommend that all Dragon Age fans buy this magazine, as it will tell you lots of things for Dragon Age Inquisition that will keep you entertained until the game finally comes out. As always guys, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. Tell me what you thought of this video, and see you next time.